Hi everyone, this is Avalon from Crafts Direct. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this resin frame. And what's different about this resin project from anything that I've done before is that this one includes some lights. So I'm really excited about it and I think it turned out pretty cool. This frame also has some fake flowers in it and moss and I think it has this really pretty almost whimsical kind of feel to it. I really really do like it a lot and I hope you do too. Follow along and I will show you step by step how you can make this frame. To begin you want to make sure that your workspace is set up. You'll want to put down your drop cloth. Make sure you have a lot of ventilation. Open up a window, maybe have a fan running. You may also want a mask if you are sensitive to the harsh smells of resin. You also want to make sure that you have gloves on. This is really important. Grab two small cups and a Sharpie and you will label the cups, one with an A and the other with a B. Grab the resin that is labeled with the A and pour it into the cup that's also labeled with A. You will do the same with the resin that is labeled with the B. And it's important that those small cups are labeled with A and B so that when you mix up more resin, you know which substance goes into which cup. Make sure that you are pouring equal parts A and B. That's why you want the small cups to be side by side. And you may even want to get eye level with it to make sure that you are pouring equal parts of both A and B. Pour both A and B into a larger mixing cup. It doesn't matter which one goes in first. You will then stir the two substances together. And this is a really important part to this process is that when you're stirring, you want to stir slowly. This is really hard to do. I know personally, I always really want to speed up, but if you go slowly, you will then create less air bubbles in your resin. So stir slowly for three minutes until you see that both substances are combined. It should also look a little clearer compared to when you first poured the substances together. It normally looks kind of cloudy. So also look to see that the resin is looking more clear. Once you have stirred the resin together for three minutes, you will then set it aside for about five minutes or so to let some of the bubbles rise to the top. And while you wait for the resin to sit, you will then grab your frame mold and start setting up your flowers that are going to go into the frame. Take all of the flowers off of the stems. I also cut one of the flowers in half just to add something a little bit different. I glued some of the parts back together with some hot glue, otherwise you can just use the petals as well. Cut off any excess stem that is on the flowers. And then you can begin placing the flowers in your frame, however you want them to be positioned. On some of the larger flowers, I did cut off some of the petals just so that it fit better into the frame. Grab your firefly lights and you will add them next into the frame. You will put them both around and beside and underneath the flowers. You can kind of tuck them underneath some of the petals as well. And then you want to make sure that at the end of the lights, there's that thicker part of the cord. You want that to be hanging out of the frame and not inside of it. 
And then once you have everything in the frame and placed as you want, you will then grab that resin that you set aside. You will then take that resin and kind of bounce it on the table and knocking it on the table to try to pop some of those bubbles. You will then take a heat gun and also add some heat to the top of the resin to once again help with getting rid of those bubbles. Pour the resin into the frame mold and we only have enough resin to do about half the frame so you'll pour in what you have and then you will take a tweezers and use that to place moss into the resin that is in the mold. Repeat the same steps you did before and mix up some more resin. And now when you pour it in, you wanna pour it into the other side where there isn't any resin. And you wanna make sure that you now have one small layer completely covering the bottom of the frame. If you need, you can always adjust the flowers and push them back into the resin. The same goes for the lights. And you will then repeat the same steps where you take your tweezers and add moss to the remaining resin. I decided I wanted a few more petals in the frame and so I went back and added some more petals and then I also tried to move some things around and especially tried to push down some of the lights and then after that, I added another layer of resin. Don't worry too much if there are some parts of the lights that are sticking out because we're going to let this cure before we add our final layer. And when it cures, it will harden and so that'll make it easier to move the lights to like bend them so that they lay more flat. So don't worry about that. But once you have poured that layer of resin, you will then take a heat gun and apply heat to the entirety of the frame. Let your frame sit for a few hours and then you should notice that it is starting to cure. And then you can go in with a pliers to help bend some of the lights to help them lay flat in the frame. Mix up some more resin and then pour it into the frame. This should be your last layer of resin and it should completely cover all of the moss, the flowers, and the lights. Take your heat gun and apply heat to the entirety of the frame and you will then let your frame sit for 24 hours. You want it to completely cure and harden all the way. And then after that, you can take your frame out of the mold. Remove any excess little parts of resin that hang off of the frame. Some of them you can peel off, but it's also really helpful to either cut them off with the scissors Otherwise, I also like using a sanding block. Add some AA batteries to the battery pack. And then make sure you have the remote as well. And I like to test out at first to see how the lights are working. Grab a 5x7 photo and either use a tape runner or double sided tape to tape all the edges of the photo before placing it inside the frame. Turn on the lights and then your frame is ready to be displayed. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can shop all the supplies needed to make this resin frame at craftsdirect.com projects.